Hey guys, so another project today. So here's Mazda Tribute, it's the same like a Ford Escape. So the problem we're having today the door handle broke. Uh, so even if we try to Unlock it, still nothing. So we'll try to fix this and see how we can open the door later. All right, we're back. So I already did it. So I'm gonna try to show you so you could understand. Just make sure your door is open from the inside. And then uh, let me get my thing here. Get yourself a ruler or something thin. And then just slide it in between the window. And you're going to put it about here. That's where the me mechanism is. Just So put it at this angle. Slide it in till you feel... Till you feel... A spring and right there it's open so now you can open you can take off your panel and replace the broken piece on the handle all right guys later all right guys so to get the Inside your panel, from the inside, you're gonna have uh, one Phillips screws here and another one inside there. So just remove it. After that, just pry the cover, take it out, and then you could pry with a screwdriver all around the clips so you can remove the panel and slide it out. Then you have a plug here for your control. So you could remove that plug just by squeezing on it and you'll be good to go. Uh, no. All right, let me stop that. All right, so after you remove your panel, just unstick the vapor barrier here. The best way to do it, just grab an exacto and just cut it in the middle. So this way you'll be able to uh, to glue it back on instead of pulling it completely off. Just cut it right in the center when it pulls. So if we can see, here's your door handle, the inside. So if you could see, there's one screw right here. And the second one will be in the back here, so you could get access through it from, from the inside. Probably you'll get it through this hole here. Let me try. It's my first time, guys, so I'm doing it with you. All right, guys, so to take this part off, you need to remove those two screws. They're Torx 20. This one here, if you have a little screwdriver, you can probably take it off. It's not that hard. You don't have to take it out completely. The other one, what I use, I use a little uh, quarter inch socket with the bit. Just unscrew it enough so this thing gets loose. And after that, you just go on this side here. Yeah, let me close. It's too much sun. You just go here and you take it up and it just comes out easy. So this is one piece. This one here, you, you're gonna just pull like this. So it comes out and it comes out from the groove and it's out. All right, let's go, let's continue later.
All right, guys, to take out the rod, if you can see, you're gonna just grab, grab your thumb and just flick the white thing left to come out and then you just pull on the rod. See, the rod comes out. All right, so after you remove that rod, it's loose. Now you can take this whole thing off. So you just grab it from from the inside and you just pull on it and take out uh, just watch that little white bushing here if I can show you here's the gaskets you can take them out just that white little thing don't lose it and you just slide it sideways and take it out and there's your piece complete piece so you could check what's wrong in it Ugh. there's this little clamp that we just took out all right we just like went sideways there so this is the piece all right let's check what's wrong and we'll explain some more this is your torque screws. They're, I don't know why they put torques. They're like just, maybe not to strip the plastic thing there. But anyways, if you just don't take them off so you don't lose them. And this is the mechanism. Okay, let's check. It looks like it's, doesn't look like it's broken, but we'll see. Maybe, oh yeah, I think it is broken. That's why it's missing the thing. Okay, let me check. So I checked it out and it doesn't really look like it's broken. It's just pretty hard to move. So what happens when you pull on the handle, the way the handle uh, sits there, whatever it sits, it just slips off and comes out and then it comes out of the hole. And that's why it was hard to open even by the probably by the inside because this thing is pretty stiff and a lot of times if this little pin if you see it's broken you could only change this aluminum piece here without replacing the whole handle assembly so I don't know if you could just get this or if you could pick it up at a scrap yard and just take out this piece here so you don't have to you know it could be any color of handle and stuff and you could just replace your aluminum piece all right guys let me check it out more all right guys so i just lubricated the piece i didn't have to, it wasn't broken so i didn't have to replace it and you could see now the handle works good see it's holding on this piece correctly and it just pushes on the rod and this little flap just goes so that it pushes the rod all right guys i'll put it back together and we'll try it on the car well then have to replace anything later all right so when you're putting it back from this side just make sure this piece when you put it in slides inside so it locks in and then you could screw it from this side and over here if you can see there's just two little pins there that squeeze down just put it in all right and then we'll go back on the other side all right so after you installed everything there and if you can see just put back the rod inside and slide the little pin over to lock it All right guys, so we put back the handle and it works perfect. So we fixed it without replacing anything. So never know guys, it could be just this and it's not broken, but it, if ever is broken, you know what to do. All right, let's put back everything the way we took it off later. All right guys, so everything's put together. The door is working fine so just in case you guys having this thing hope it helps sometimes it could be just 
the handle slips out because the thing is a bit seized so you don't really have to replace anything but if like I showed you if it ever breaks that aluminum piece you could always just replace that aluminum piece without replacing the whole handle all right guys so one more project done hopefully will help someone just the way for me it was more or less a video to show how to open the door if it's locked and uh, with a little uh, ruler it worked perfectly just slide it in like I showed you it's around around here just put it through the window and push on it till you feel this the little uh, thing there and will unlock so you can take off your panel to replace it and if not if you can do that you could always try ripping the the panel from inside it's doable but i mean this was easy all right guys later all right so the clip here just press press your the tab on top here and just pull it out